All right, what's going on, YouTube? We're back with another build. This is Project Six. Chris is trying to look for some fittings, and this is the project that we're gonna be working on next. We got a 2006. I think it's a 2005. 2005 350Z VQ35. Uh, um, the owner is the boy Kevin. I'll put the, his uh, Instagram on the bottom of the description, but. Yeah, so the next time you guys see this beginning, it's gonna be dropped, literally slammed. He already upgraded the wheels to some ESRs, bronze. Uh, we got nine and a half in the front with a ten and a half in the rear. So you know you got to run that stagger look, and um, they're pretty meaty with the two ninety fives on there, man. So that's what's gonna be happening next. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to see this build as we start working on everything else inside of the garage. We're gonna put the clamp systems together and put the fittings on the tanks and get everything going. And um, yeah, so definitely stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're at the stage now where Chris is running the hard lines. We're measuring, test fitting, cutting, and all that BS, you know what I mean? That's the way this guy likes to run the hard lines. But now, we have finished running majority of all the, um, the wires through the car. That's all completed. Connected to the fuses, we just have to splice and connect everything to the battery, so that way the compressors and the grounds are working completely correct because remember you have to ground those grounds really well and then the next step of course we're going to do is continue uh, finishing doing the hard lines on the kit and after all that's done we're going to test fit the tank with the compressor and all that stuff inside the car prior to us making any adjustments that we need to make and then after that of course we're going to bring in the car to the garage get it started jack it all up and go ham we're going to finish it up and go ham Kevin's gonna love it. Quarter inch. Uh, hard lines are pretty, gonna go pretty hard, so uh, definitely stay tuned on what we have next before we even do install this. So, yo, yo, yo. we finally installed the rear bags on the 350 kind of delayed a little bit but we we're mainly focusing on getting the hard lines done figuring out the fitment on exactly where the hard lines were going to meet down onto the board and uh, i'll show you guys that right there it's a little brief show but yeah now that we got the both bags in the rear i'm just gonna uh, finish up doing whatever cutting we have to do just to make the bag fit and then afterwards, we're gonna bolt it all down. Uh, not all the way, that way we can move the bag, maneuver it, and connect the airline to wherever we need to adjust the bag to. And then uh, after that, we'll definitely bolt it down and start working on the front. That way we can easily just run the airline already connected to here, to the inside of the trunk. So stay tuned for that, and I'll show you guys once we go into the trunk.
right, so we're at this point already in the video where we got one, two, three wheels already bolted on. Uh, we basically finished up the rest of the inside. We just got to connect the grounds and the powers and then connect all the air lines uh, from each bag into the hard line. And then afterwards, we'll finally set the car down once we have air in the bags. But for now, we're just gonna finish on putting on the last wheel, both are nice and tight, everything's nice and secure. All right guys, so we already got everything mounted down, the LEDs, the grounds, and the power. So now everything we're gonna work on is just connecting all the LEDs. So we're just gonna finish mounting those on, and then afterwards, we are going to uh, tighten up the top strut. Once the car's on the ground, we're gonna feed air to the airbags prior to even them being on the ground. Uh, making sure there's no leaks, double checking for leaks. That's the one thing you want to do when you do hard lines or any type of air suspension is make sure you don't have any leaks. So we'll be spraying each corner. We'll be spraying the manifold just in case, the tank, uh, the compressors, making sure there's no leaks on there as well. And um, yeah, and after that, that'll be the green light to go. All right, so now that everything's done, Small little cold start, not too heavy, but <laughs> everything's working. Compressors are kicking in. That's actually one compressor right now. That's one compressor. Go. We'll go to the back and see what the hell's going on. So one thing to remember is calibrating and adjusting your presets. What was that, Ricky? 